I think Don Quixote is one of the great heroes in literature, and Ignatius J. Riley is following in his footsteps. Ignatius J. Riley is the unlikely and unforgettable hero of the Pulitzer Prize winning A Confederacy of Dunces. Set in New Orleans, the novel follows Ignatius, an obese 30-year-old scholar who lives with his mother. He launches a crusade against modernity, which he thinks is the downfall of humankind. I am at the moment writing a lengthy indictment against our century. When my brain begins to reel from my literary labors, I make an occasional cheese dip. Confederacy of Dunces echoes a lot of uh, Don Quixote. He's ready to take on the pretensions and the ridiculousness of the world we find ourselves in. The book's author, John Kennedy Toole, tried unsuccessfully to get the manuscript published, and he committed suicide in 1969. After his death, Toole's mother took up her son's cause. At the time, Walter Isaacson was a local newspaper reporter. I first became aware of Confederacy of Dunces well before it was published. Thelma Toole, John Kennedy Toole's mother, was peddling it around, and you suddenly see her sweep and all of her grandeur and all of her style and put this big box on my desk. I remember going page by page through it and thinking, this is the greatest unpublished novel in New Orleans. And it wasn't just a New Orleans novel. It was like the greatest unpublished novel of all. Like many great characters in literature, Ignatius is alienated from the world around him. He is not somebody who can participate too easily in the world because, you know, he's just awkward. Awkward physically, awkward socially, awkward mentally when he tries to deal with things. He believes everybody has lost touch with the deeper beauty in life, and only he, Ignatius J. Riley, can understand it. Ignatius J. Riley's goal is nothing less than transforming all of New Orleans and the world in general, because everybody in the world is kind of less refined. Of course, he's a real buffoon in a way, and he's mildly self-aware of that, but it helps him navigate the weirdness of the world in which he finds himself. I'm Walter Isaacson, and my book is John Kennedy Tools, A Confederacy of Dunces. If it's yours, go to the PBS website and make your vote count. <laughs>